good afternoon. It is Saturday and we are over, I guess, the bayou according to what my husband has said. We are just, yeah, in Louisiana right now. I've been uh, crocheting, you know, I got my crocheting in here. I'm trying to relearn how to do it. It's been so long since I've done it. So it's one of the traveling activities I've been doing. So let me get it out here. So yeah, I've been working on it a little bit at a time, sitting in here and everything. I've got uh, different colors there. So just wanted to show you guys that. Traffic has not been the best here. We've encountered a lot of just various times where it's been, but that's, that's the way it is. But yeah, look at that. Look at it. There's just, just, we're just riding a long bridge over the water on Interstate 10. And there's all kinds of trucks and everything going around us. It's just been something else. So we're on this bridge for a while. It looks like it's just on and on and on. Yeah. So I don't know if you guys can see. Air traveling. I'm trying to stay up with this traffic here. So, there's all kinds of vehicles around us. So, yeah. As we go on our way back home, we may want to travel at night and then just stay somewhere during the day. Tupelo was crazy with traffic, bumper to bumper. And then when we left there, we got on the Natchez Trace Trail or something like that. Um, uh, and that was really nice. It was peaceful. A lot of, uh, you know, just woods. It was a na national forest. Check that out there. Going over all the water. I think it's just beautiful. I mean, imagine if you live in this area, you probably are so used to this type of environment. But yeah, just water on and on. But yeah, I guess that's the way it is. Traveling in Louisiana. So we're about close to three hours away from our destination in southeast Texas to see my son's best friend and his dad is like the pastor of a church down there and all that so yeah I just thought I better check with you guys and let you know what's going on kind of like my travels you know follow me on Instagram to see some pics of the trip and everything as I post him uh, Michelle transformed 2018 and everything and uh, yeah this thing goes on and on gosh um i've been snacking on i carried a bunch of herbal teas because we've become i'm not feeling our best traveling can put a stress on your immune system you know and i got some other thing to do is snack on um, crystallized ginger that comes in handy you have to eat that fairly slowly because it's so strong So that's um, just drinking water and all that. Uh, in the cooler, we have our. I made a. We made some like boiled eggs for the trip. Um, we already turned that into egg salad and ate that. We stayed at the uh, Red Roof Inn last night. That was okay. Um, that's about it. We left out later than we wanted to, like six o'clock or something. Stops, so. But it was fine. Um, so yeah, that's about like that. You see, we're still on the same thing over this water, and and there's a cop that's got his lights on. I guess he's keeping the track traffic flowing. I suppose. Because he's several cars ahead of us. I review. And all that. So, yeah. He's several cars ahead of us. Bayou de Gracias. So, I don't know. Because we got to, yeah. I don't know when. Uh, from apparently, I might understand, we're going to be on this road for about 100 miles. Yes. Gosh, I think the traffic's slowing down. 
kind of makes me nervous to throw on this bridge that never ends, I think. I've never been on a bridge that takes this long to get over. It says we are, this is this Whiskey Bay is one mile away. So if you know anybody from Whiskey Bay, say hey. Okay, well, I've been on here long enough. Ooh, come to a stop, David. Come to a stop. Ooh, ooh. Uh, it makes me nervous. I'll see you guys later. Bye.